Namaste yogis, I am Samatha from Botsphere. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel named Botsphere. So today we are going to do yoga for detox and de-stress. So we are going to do a beautiful flow which will involve a lot of twists, bends, yes. So you have to just do as much as you can. We will be doing it together, yes. So let's all get started. Let's get on to our mats now. So first of all, what we are going to do is we will just come on our toes. So let's just do the toe squat. So for that, you will have to be on your toes. Your, your knees will be rested on the floor. And see if you can just rest your hips on the heels. So this will apply a very uh, a lot of pressure on your toes. So if you are suffering from any toe injury, I wouldn't recommend you to do this. But uh, if you can give it a shot, just give it a shot and see if it works for you. Yeah. So the toes will be on the floor. Your hips are rested on the heels and the knees are on the floor. Your palms are rested on your thighs, on your quadriceps. So these are the quadriceps, the four muscles. So let's just stay in this beautiful pose for at least 10 seconds just to open up our toes first. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Now from the toes, let's just straighten them up to come in the Vajra Asan, in English known as the Adamantine pose. So very comfortable position, but if you are suffering from any knee issues, so this is not recommended for you. Yes, so you just have to rest your hips on the heels and see if you can just join the heels together in Vajra Asan. So when you are sitting in Vajra Asan, your hips should not be between your heels like this. This looks very comfortable. To make it a little more intense, what you have to do is you just have to bring your heels together and rest your hips on the heels. So do as much as you can. Yes. So let's just rest in this pose for 10 seconds. The counter poses are extremely important. If you have done the forward bend, you have to do the back, backward bend also. Since we have worked on the toes, so now it's, trying, uh, it's time to straighten them up, yes. So let's just stay in this pose for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's all come out of the pose slowly and gently. Let's just place our palms in front of us. Let's come in the tabletop position. Your palms are underneath your shoulders and your pelvic region, it is stacked right above your knees. Okay, so in this position itself, as you inhale, push your spine towards the floor and let's all look up. Your chest is getting pushed towards the floor and you are just keeping your gaze up, 45 degrees up. Let's feel the stretch around the spine, around the shoulders, middle back for five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, make a hunch with your spine intentionally. So push your spine towards the heaven, towards the sky, towards the ceiling. And let's all look towards our thighs or the knees. Let's just stay in this pose for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Once again, as you inhale, let's do the cow pose. Let's all look up for five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, let's go into the cat stretch. Let's push our spine. You can adjust your spine just to open up your shoulder wings, just to open up the entire spine for five, 
four, three, two, one. All right, let's all come back to the base position, to the back to the center. And from here itself, let's just tuck in our toes on the floor to go into the mountain. Okay, it's also known as Anamukshwanasan mountain pose, Parvatasan downward facing dog pose. Let's just push our spine towards the floor. Make sure that your shoulders are also getting pushed. Your heels are on the floor. Your hamstrings and the calf muscles are getting the stretch. Let's just stay in this pose and let's catch our breath for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you inhale, bring your feet between the palms and let's just come in Haspadasan. You can just rest your palms on the floor. See if you can just keep your knees engaged. Hamstrings are engaged. Let's just stay in this pose. So if you're suffering from any lower back issues, I don't recommend you to do this. So uh, if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. But just stay comfortable uh, in whichever pose you are. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you bring your arms up, make an arch with your lower back and let's all look up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One from here itself, let's just bend our knees to come in the chair pose or the Utkat Asan. Make sure that your arms are parallel to each other and your knees are bent. Let's just stay in this pose for 10 seconds 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. As you exhale, let's just bend forward. Let's grab our ankles. Let's all go in. Once again, you will have to engage your hamstrings, engage your knees for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's just bend our knees now. Let's place our palms back onto the floor to go back into the mountain all right so we are in the mountain now let's push our tailbone towards the ceiling or the sky keep the entire legs uh, engaged spine pushed in for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two one let's all bring our right foot outside the right palm so you can just rest your left knee on the floor we will just place our right palm on our right thigh just to open it up just a bit so it will flare out in this case and you will feel a very good stretch around your hips or the glutes because it's opening up the pelvic region so let's just stay in this pose. Let it be out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's all come back to the center. Bring it in. And let's place our palms back on the floor. And you can just switch your leg. So when you are doing that, you will have to make sure that the right knee is resting on the floor, the toes are on the floor and you are pushing your left leg out. So it's flaring out right now and there's a possibility that the foot also gets lifted. But it's okay because right now we are working on the pelvic region. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I'm already sweating. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. So let's all come back to the center. 
and let's place our palm back onto the floor to go back into the mountain. All right, let's all adjust our body once again. But this time, let's just hold it for five sweet seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. From here itself, let's all come into the palm plank position in which our shoulders are stacked right above our wrist. You can just place the left palm onto the floor. You'll have to twist your body a bit. Oh, it's a sweaty session. So let's just lift our right arm up. You'll have to balance your body on left arm. So there's a possibility that uh, you are unable to do it. If you cannot, you can just place your left knee onto the floor and you can still do it. And with time, you can just come in the side plank position. Yes. So let's just stay over here for 10 seconds. Make sure that your arms are in one straight line and you are smiling. Yes. So keep smiling throughout the session. It will make things a lot easier for you. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So let's all come back into the mountain and let's just paddle our feet. Let's just paddle our feet. Let's just dance a bit in the mountain pose for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. So we are back into the palm plank position. Let's just place our right palm onto the floor and let's just twist and let's lift our left arm up let's just stay in this position for 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so one last time back into the mountain this time only for three seconds you are doing great, I tell you. For three seconds. Three. Two. One. And from here itself, let's just rest our knees onto the floor. Our arms will come by our side in the child's pose in Balasan. If you want to keep your arms stretched, you can do that as well if you find it more comfortable or else you can just keep your arms next to you and you have to rest your forehead onto the floor to give proper good relaxation to your body let's just take proper rest all right so let's all come back let's all come out of the pose and we are back in sukhasan in the seated comfortable position so let's just move our head just to open up our neck region also last few stretches so as you Take your head up, you need to inhale as it comes down, you have to breathe out. And left and right. And now literally ear to the shoulder from side to side. And now the rotations from the right side as you take your head up from the right you need to inhale as it comes down from the left you need to breathe out and let's all reverse from left to right now okay 
okay so let's all come back to the center let's just place our arms over here as you inhale lift your arms up join your palms together and let's straighten up our arms for 10 seconds let's stay in this pose for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 as you exhale you may bring your arms down and let's just twist from the left side and let's all look back for only five seconds five four three two one let's all twist from the right side now five four three two one and let's all come back to our base position okay so this video was for detox and de-stress so whatever phase that that you are going through whether uh, you are going through some emotional stress or some physical stress any kind of stress that you are going through and you want to de-stress yourself so this video is for you you can practice this flow practice this sequence and do let me know how you found it um, in the comment section below and if you have any questions whether it is related to fitness yoga health wellness spirituality or life in general so you can just let us know and we'll surely answer all your queries and uh, please do uh, like this video please do uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and in fact uh, we are providing online yoga and fitness sessions you can enroll for that also uh, I will provide you the link in the description below and you can enroll yourself for that also and apart from that we have got the one of the best online platforms you can uh, subscribe to that also I will provide you the link for that as well and till then just stay safe and uh, just take care and keep doing yoga keep moving your body in different ways and I will see you in the next video for sure so till then just take care and namaste.